North Korea and Russia certainly dominating the news cycle today on April 10th, 2017. And the Daily Telegraph reports that Donald Trump puts Australia on North Korean rocket alert. Now, I'll run through this quickly, folks, and just pick out some key points for you. You sit back, drink coffee, eat dinner, uh, put your feet up, do whatever it is you're doing, and I will do the work here, okay, because I enjoy this. All right, guys. Australia and its allies have been put on standby for the possibility of the United States shooting down test rockets launched by North Korea. Intelligence sources told the Daily Telegraph that North Korea may launch ballistic missile test flights around the birthday of Kim Il-sung, the founder of the rogue nation, on April 15th or even sooner. And you could say that we are in the even sooner phase right now, and the 15th is less than a week away. The United States, which has a fleet headed to the Korean Peninsula, and I wonder how close that is. I need to follow up on that. Is understood to have notified Australia that it is fully prepared to shoot down these rockets. The Australian United States Joint Facility at Pine Gap monitors North Korean missile launches and is on standby. There's Donald Trump right there and some important gentlemen around him. Uh, don't know what he's saying there, but he doesn't look uh, very pleased. All right, of course, this, uh, this military action or the threat of it is on the heels of launching 59 Tomahawk missiles from two Navy destroyers at Syria last week. So, um, the Trump administration has notified the Australian officials that they will um, be prepared to take action and that Australia should be aware that uh, these missile tests may come. I, it just seems to me, ladies and gentlemen, that we are, even those of us in this world who are only watching with one eye or maybe one eye closed and the other eye just open partially, laying there going... <laughs> As a sleepy sheeple, they are the powers that be through the media, through social media, through the television and broadcast media. They are just preparing us for war. They are getting us ready. They are conditioning us. Now, how is this all going to play out? Honestly, folks, I could offer you prognostications, but I'm not really in the prognostication business. I just, if I was to follow my gut, this this whole thing between North Korea and Russia and the ancillary parties being China and Iran, of course Syria, there is just something, I, I guess to, to, to put it in simple terms, there is just something very weird going on here. This is almost too blatant. This is almost too high profile. Now, I understand that we are living in the age of instant information dissemination. And anyone can say anything and put any sort of story out there, and sometimes it's labeled fake news. And, of course, Google will be doing that by employing Snopes. And I wonder who it is that works for Snopes that decides what is fake news and what isn't. I have some ideas there, too. But this just seems so blatant and in our faces. Look, get ready. We're going to war. And I, I believe that, that, we, that something is about to happen. I said that earlier today in a video that I made, that something potentially cataclysmic is, ju is just right around the corner. And we're, we've actually turned the corner. We can't go back now. Trump is painted into a corner. He has to see all this through or else Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, whoever, um, they're going to see him as weak. Obama got away with being weak. Obama was the most willing tool that the elites ever had. Trump is a wild card. You don't know what he's going to do. Certainly his arms are being manipulated by the puppet masters. You know that. But something is coming 
And when we look at all of these stories, when we look at these nations, and we look at the military movements, the buildup for what is appearing to be war potentially on multiple fronts, something smells funny. Something that we don't expect is also about to go down. Let me know what you think, folks. I'll leave you a link to this so you can read this in its entirety, especially if you are somewhere in Australia, New Zealand, somewhere in that area of the world. I'm Jim, telling you, reminding you that the Bible says to not be given over to the spirit of fear, but of the power of love and of a sound mind. And that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua Hamashiach. Please hit the subscribe button. Please give this video a thumbs up. Check out the links to my fiction books and music. I appreciate you folks. I appreciate all of you who are subscribing. I appreciate you more than I can say. God bless you, and I will see you soon.